हेलो स्टूडेंट नाउ दिस क्लास वी विल डिस्कस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन दैट इज गॉस थियोरम एंड गॉस थियोरम दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके यू नो दैट और यू मे हैव सीन ऑल्सो द क्वेश्चन बैंक दिस क्वेश्चन सो मेनी इयर्स इट इज रिपीटेड ओके एंड दिस वी ऑल्सो दिस फॉर्मूला कैन यूज टू सॉल्व द न्यूमरिकल्स okay so the statements of the gauss theorem gauss theorem okay uh, states that it states that the total electric flux okay the electric flux through a closed surface enclosing a charge is equal to 1 by epsilon not times the magnitude of the charge enclosed you know that the electric flux electric flux means what the total number of electric lines of force that cross perpendiculars to a closed surface and when we take this suppose that we have a closed surface which having surface s and i have taken this is the elementary portion that is ds ds is the elementary portion and the radius of this sphere is the small r okay and e is the electric field which represents here yes. and e and ds both are in the same lines okay so according to this statements that suppose that q is the charge and 1 by epsilon this is the absolute permittivity and the value of epsilon not equal to what is the value of epsilon not epsilon not is equal to 8.854 into 10 to the power minus 12 per newton per meter square and coulomb square This is the value of epsilon not. So according to this statement that we can write here, uh, phi is equal to q by epsilon not. Is it correct? Okay. So, but according to definition, we can also write here phi is equal to e dot ds. Here e is the electric field and ds is the elementary portion of that closed. Okay. And s here, this is the integral signs. Okay, closed integral s. Now, if you will assume this is the equation one. And this is the equation two. So you can see both having the LHS portion same. So RHS you can equate here. Okay, so you will write here. So from equation one and two, you will use here plus integral s e dot d s equal to q by epsilon not. This you can write. This is the formula of the Gauss theorem. But you have to prove this one. Okay, how we can prove this? You know that. By using Coulomb's law in electrostatics. Coulomb's law in electrostatics here you can assume let E equal to electric electric field. Okay, D S equal to elementary elementary portion. Cap of R equal to unit vector. Q is equal to point charge or test charge. What you can write here? Okay, charge. You can write here. Yes. So from so from Coulomb's Coulomb's law. What you will write? Coulomb's law. We have formula F is equal to yes. F is equal to one by four pi epsilon not q one q two r square. But that we use in terms to find out the electric field. So you can write here yes. e equal to what is the value? E equal to one by four pi. Of solid knots, okay. So you will write here vector in terms one by four pi solid knot q by r square, and if there is the unit vectors, then you can also write the unit. Okay. If you will write this one, but also we have according to definitions, okay, the electric flux through this area elements. Therefore, electric flux through Through vector d s, what you will write here? D phi is equal to vector e dot d s. Can you write here? Okay. If you will remove this vector sign, so you will write d phi is equal to e d s cos theta. Okay. And both are in the same lines, d s and this. So here will be since theta equal to zero degree. Okay. So d phi equal to e d s and This value you can substitute also here. Okay, or directly you can substitute. No problem. So you will substitute here. 
डीएसिटा But you have formula. Uh, you have whenever okay uh, this vector e and ds will lie along the same that is the parallel. So you will take here since theta is equal to zero degree. Therefore, d phi equal to one by four pi epsilon naught q by r square ds cos zero degree. Can we write here? What is the value of cos zero? Cos zero one. Okay, so you will write here cos zero equal to one. So d phi equal to one by four pi epsilon naught q bar r square d s into one. So this you got uh, means d phi equal to one by four pi epsilon naught q bar r square and d s. This is the electric flux through this elementary portion that you got. But you have to find out the Electric flux through this total. Okay, whole surface. Since you have phi is equal to surface integrals of d phi. That you can write here. Okay, closed integral s you can put here, and this will be substitute here. If you will substitute the value, then here will be therefore phi equal to closed integral. Okay, at the place of d phi you will put here one by four pi of sine naught q by r square and d s. And this all are the constant term, no? So you can write here phi equal to one by four pi epsilon naught q by r square. Okay, close integral here and ds. What is the value of this? Phi is equal to one by four pi epsilon naught q by r square into here will be four pi r square. Is it clear? Okay. So four pi and four pi r square and r square will cancel out. Finally, you have phi equal to phi equal to Q by Q by epsilon naught. Okay, so this is the final formula that we have. Okay, written. You can see the equation first. Okay, student. So this you can use to okay uh, find out the flux. That is the phi is equal to Q by epsilon naught. Okay, according to statements. We have proved this formula. Is it clear? So uh, you will find out. You will see the questions. Uh, in question banks, there is written to prove Gauss theorem by using closed aspherical cell. Okay, so at the uh, closed as uh, aspheric uh, closed symmetric, you can use. Okay, so students, you should write this question also, make your notes. Okay, and practice this question. Okay, thank you, students.